Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another video. Today we have a video on a new greenhouse which I just erected and uh, you'll see it in a moment. It's amazing the uh, weather we're having this week here in Melbourne. Check it out. It's just pure blue skies all around the whole week from uh, Monday to Friday. Beautiful. Let's go and have a look now at the uh, our new saviour for our tropical fruit trees in winter. <coughs> I've got all these uh, lilies here that have grown too <coughs> over summer. It's like a jungle of lilies and. Uh, ginger as well beautiful they just finished flowering they only flower for about a month check it out all of this grew in just a year and a half so here we are in the new um, um, bed or um, tropical fruit oasis which you saw in a recent video and there she is down at the back in the corner out of the uh, high winds which we uh, get often here right under these bananas and under this uh, huge pine tree it's currently 11 a.m sun is just about ready to peak out here and uh light up this whole area as you guys know it doesn't get full sun here till 11 30 12 noon so another half an hour or so it'll be full sun here all right let's get closer So as you can see, it's um, pretty much even with the, um, the fence in height, around two, two meters, 2.1 meters, and uh, two meters wide, and uh, two meters deep. So two, two, and two. Just snug fit here in this corner. And uh, the door, the front panel, is a uh, nice and wide to fit in uh, the largest of plants, as you can see. It's um, at least 1.5 meters wide, the uh, double zipper. So let's go and open that now. So with uh, the flap rolled up and uh, strapped, you got this huge, massive opening. So, such easy access. Let's get closer and have a look at um, the daily um, tropicals that I've put in here. It's not a very big greenhouse, but um, <clears throat> it seems to fit almost all of the um, super sensitive tropicals that I have. There's still a couple that um, I'll have to squeeze in by pushing them back. But um, this is what's called a, a comfortable fit. So they're all um, enough away from each other that they're not touching. So this is um, a perfect fit. But if I'm going to get more in here, I'm going to have to um, push them closer, touching. Not one of them is touching at all. So that's the um, the new greenhouse. It's also got um, flaps on the sides, as you can see. Currently, they're closed. Two there, and two here. I'll just open them. 
So these are the flaps now open here on one side. And uh, they've got a fly screen for bugs and it lets in air when it's really hot in summer. So guys, this is the um, the best way for me to keep these um, plants happy over winter. Right now it's still warm. Actually, I put the, the cover on um, two days ago because we had a, a sudden um, chill, not exactly um, frost, but it got down to 7.9 Celsius here in our location. And um, that's not anything really to be concerned about, but um, plants like um, uh, mangosteen and uh, a few of these other um, exotic ones don't like temperatures below 7 Celsius. And um, so that's what pushed me to put the, the cover on. I already had the frame up. The frame was up um, a, a month ago. I just got it ready. So all I would have to do uh, when necessary, when needed, was just throw the cover on. And that was like, you know, two minutes to put the cover on. <clears throat> the frame is what took me two hours. Two hours for the frame, two minutes for the cover. So yeah, I had uh, everything ready to go for an emergency. Here's the, um, the, the jackfruit waking up. It's gonna do really well in here. What I'm gonna do next summer, or next spring and summer, is leave a lot of these guys in the greenhouse because there's no wind in here. So it's not only temperature that these guys um, are after, but it's also wind free, especially when they're babies. And as you can see, a lot of new growth already coming on um, a lot of them. Look, only after two days, they love it in here. And uh, look at the Barbados cherry. Check it out, the acerola. This might even flower and fruit for us in here over um, late fall or winter. So um, that's it. We've got everything in here, including the the peanut butter fruit tree that my friend um, Doug in Brisbane was showing off yesterday, full of fruit. This is my second attempt at this guy here. He died from root rot. The other one I had died from root rot last year. So he's not gonna get root rot in here. No rain and no wind. <coughs> and uh, there's a few more back there. There's the uh, Mamey Sapoti in the corner. Very happy. So guys, that's what's going on. Here's the Ambarella. Look at that. Everything looks so damn good in here. The um, um, Sapodilla. So, I'll be giving updates on uh, these guys uh, over fall, autumn that is, winter and coming into spring. Oh, and uh, I secured it with these picket, star pickets, at least um, 12 inches or more in the ground. So this ain't going anywhere. This ain't going anywhere, guys. It's not budging. Four, one on each corner and um, cable ties. So you've got a cable tie down here cable tie here and a cable tie there three cable ties so she ain't going anywhere no matter what and we have the corner position as you saw right corner corner the only problem will be this tree if it decides to drop those cones see those cones can you see the I don't know if you can see the cones but there are cones there ready to drop. 
onto the greenhouse. Hopefully they'll just bounce off and not um, squish into it. Yeah, that's the main problem, this darn tree. Not much I can do about it though, guys. I can't get up there and beat Tarzan cutting branches down. And it's not even my tree. It's the neighbor's tree. It's the neighbor's neighbor tree. It's two houses away. So these are the pots that remain here. I had them all here, like 32 pots. These ones are not really necessary for um, the greenhouse. It's the um, Surinam cherry. Four lychees. The lychees I want to squeeze in there. There's one here and three in that corner. Right, the lychee. That's... Um, what's that again? That's the... Um, okay, two jabuticabas. One jabuticaba there. Two black sapotis. Uh, white sapoti. Um, Pitangatuba. Um, cherry of the Rio Grande. Um, another Jabodicaba, another lychee, 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 and Brazilian cherry here. Yeah. So out of all these, only the um, the lychees would benefit from the uh, the greenhouse, not the uh, not the Brazilian cherry, not the white sapote, not the um, Jabuticaba, right? So, oh, and the black sapotis, well, they've always done well for me. Um, outdoors in winter, even when they're young, they're very resilient, very strong. Their problem is wind. They don't like the wind. Yeah, they're sooks in the wind, not so much the cold. So now I've got all three greenhouses going. I'm thinking of heating this one, putting a heater in it because it's right next to the house. And I've also got um, electric, right? It's already ready to go. And over here is the, uh, the mango house as you guys saw recently. Getting a new mango in a couple of days to join, join the family. You'll see it soon, being unboxed in um, a video. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you from the next one guys.